Wow. There are police cars in front of my children's school. There are police cars in front of my children's school. I hope all is well. I hope all is well. Uh. There are police cars. There's another one over there. I don't know. I don't used to like this type of thing, you know, whenever I'm driving and I see police cars in front of my children's school, it gets me very unsettled. I don't used to like it, so. Ha. Huh. Maybe I should call the school when I get home. Ah. I see a police car in front of school as well. What's happening? What's going on? What is going on? That's a police car right there. Let me zoom. See? But that's a word rock. I need you go do first. I'll call them when I get home. Hello, good morning. Um, Hi, so, how can uh, I help you? Um, thank you. So I'm um, a parent um, and um, I just dropped off my kids at school and I noticed that there was police presence in front of the school. So I'm, I'm kind of worried. Is there a problem? Uh, well, because uh, uh, there were some messages about threat, but uh, the police investigated and it's not a credible threat, but okay. they just here just to be cautious. Okay. And and we have plenty of security guards on campus as well. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, there's nothing to worry about. It, yes, the, the the threat was not credible. Okay, because I was wondering if I should come pick my kids up because my my daughter almost didn't want to get out of the car. She she was worried. She wanted to go <laughs> home with me. So yeah. I thought I was going to call to clarify uh -huh. if anything was wrong. Yeah, yeah. no, everything is is fine, and, and just it, we wanted to be cautious, and okay. that's why the police is present and okay, everything. That, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. All yes. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. Me. Have a good day. Have oh, yes, good no day. problem. Uh, All right. Thank you. You too. Mm, bye, -bye. Okay, bye. 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 Mm -hmm. So, you cuckoo head. You heard what she said. So it's nothing to worry about. They said that the police had to come just for them to be safe that um the threat wasn't a credible one they investigated and it wasn't a credible threat so but they had to be here Sha, just to be safe and i'm wondering what is wrong with people i'm very sure it's a student that sent a message or i don't even know where they sent the message to the threat to that made them call the police but i don't know people need to be very careful what the things they do the things they say the actions they take because these things are not okay especially considering the fact that there is already fear and unrest in this country there have been cases of shooting here and there so why would somebody just wake up and send a threat to whoever or whatever to make police to come to the school i don't know i i really 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 don't know at this point i'm seriously considering homeschooling because i cannot i cannot be going to school every day as i'm praying every day driving to school praying get to school be praying covering school with the blood of jesus covering my children with the blood of jesus and then i will now go and see police people in front of my children's school it's on a map will be now I had to call the school to be to be very clear. Let me know if I should just go back and pick up my child. Because when I was dropping them, Munachi, immediately she saw the police officer. She was like, Mommy, I don't want to go to school. Let me just go home with you. And I laughed it off just so that she would not be scared and told her that, no, that there's nothing wrong. She should go to school. And then when I was now driving home, something now told me, what if... Let that not be a reason why you will now say, Hey, if I had known, no, she told me that she didn't want to. God forbid. God forbid it's not my portion it's not our portion but i don't i don't like living in this kind of fear i don't like being this unsettled as i am like this this woman has assured me that nothing is wrong but i come to you i'm still scared i'm still going to keep my phone very close to me because i might have to go to school at any time i don't know i'm even having a feeling i should just go and pick them and come home maybe i should leave them should lie or should lie not you know what? This is the beginning of a new vlog. Let me remove fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear. And my children's school is covered by the blood of Jesus. There will be no evil activity around my children's school. It's just a threat. An empty threat. But people need to be very careful. Anyway, let's start this vlog. Before I took the children to school, I didn't get a good look at the house to be sure that they all did their chores well. The person that did Palo did not clear this. It's, it's even Dindo. 
see how he left these things that he always plays with let me see now let me see the kitchen i'm very certain that they did not sweep this floor see see how dirty the floor is looking see how dirty the floor is looking the person that was supposed to mop it yesterday night did not mop it and i do you know the funny thing i mopped this kitchen like two days ago so i don't know where they usually get this dirt from and match the floor i don't understand it i'm sick of it honestly and yesterday night the person that was supposed to mop it did not mop it now they left it like this how they school when they let them come back sha they will just still mop it let me see inside the sink i have a feeling oh hmm huh. But Sha, they did not wash the sponge. They did not clear this thing. They know I don't like this type of thing in the sink. They didn't clear it. All right, so let me go and wake the day up. <laughs> she slept with wristwatch on. See the big wristwatch on her hand. She woke up. Hey. Oh, Tete. Zite. How are you? What do you say? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Fine. Did you sleep well? Yes. Did you have a dream? No. You didn't? No. Oh, that's good. Do you want to sleep some more? Mm. Hmm? Do you want to rest a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go and feed Boo Boo. You know where to find me when you need me. All right? Mm -hmm. See the big watch on your hand? Whose <laughs> watch is that? Mm. Hmm? Whose wrist watch are you wearing? Mm. You don't know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it's Nanu's own. All right. Rest. You know where to find me. Meanwhile, Bubu still takes cereal. So I use this plate to make his cereal. And I've asked these children so many times. I don't know what suddenly happened to Bubu's plate. It looks to me like somebody placed hot frying pan on top of this plate. Because these are all born marks. I don't know how it happened. Anyway, let me put his cereal. Bubu see his cereal. One at two, three years old. December or Christmas Day, he'll be three years old. And he's still eating cereal. Geba cereal for that matter. And milk. <laughs> I see you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there. Cause I know you want it. Afraid to let it show. And I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow? I think it's time we stop tipping. At least the person that did the kitchen today as morning chores, at least the person cleaned the, the kitchen counter and that is why he's shiny. <laughs> I'll give that to them anyway. But let them come back. They have to mop the floor. It's not me that we mop it. Cannot have I cannot have children as old as thirteen and and ten. Almost eleven. And I'll still be mopping kitchen floor. But Chukuna said Chukuna said Chuku so gede. It's not me. Alright, boo boo. Boo boo. Food is ready. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Hmm? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Why are you fighting now? Eh? Are you not hungry? Don't worry, by the time the food enters your mouth, you taste it now. You, you eat it. Is it that you're not hungry? Imagine. But the last time you ate, boo boo. Wait, the last time we ate was yesterday night around 8 p.m. Are you saying you're not hungry? Good boy, I'm gonna tell you your food, okay? 
No. Give me high five. High five. High five. High five. High five. Give me high five. Give me high five. Has tasted it, he will open his mouth. Now that he has tasted it, now he will eat. But this is this is weird because Bubu doesn't do this. Bubu is always happy to eat. If rock or if rock or he's always happy to eat. As a matter of fact, when I forget to feed Bubu, he will come and hold my leg and be dragging my leg all over the house as I'm going. He will just hang on my leg as I'm walking. He will be dragging himself on the floor. So I'm surprised that today he refused to eat. Is it because I'm filming you? Oh, he's shy. He doesn't want people to see him eating. <laughs> oh, God, to That's how actually people used to do. When they see camera, they, they will be ashamed. They will be ashamed of themselves. They will not want to eat food again. <laughs> because eat. Since I refuse to eat solid food, eat your cereal. Eat your cereal in peace. By the way, guys, sure you know that BB and Big Brother reunion has started. Me, I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of Big Brother like that. But for some reason, I just want to watch this reunion. I've never watched a, a Big Brother reunion ever in my life. I only see recaps and reactions on Instagram and here on YouTube. But I've never watched it. So now that I have the opportunity to, I'm gonna watch it. If you if you're wondering how I'm I'm going to get to watch it, even while living in, in the US, I don't know. There's something that my my husband connected to the TV. I get African magic. Like right now, I'm watching African magic family. We get African magic. So I don't know what it's called. I don't know how we did it, but the connection is from the UK. I don't know how they do that. Maybe some of you already know about it. Maybe you already have it in your houses. But that is how. I get to watch African Magic, um, Big Brother Reunion, Big Brother Eviction shows, and the rest of them. But we don't really get the the main Big Brother Nigeria channel. You get. I'm not wearing a microphone, so I don't know how the audio of this video is. But I'm very certain people can hear me. If you cannot hear me, I'll write. I'll write on the screen. Okay. The day is coming. Mama, you're, you're done resting? Mm -hmm. Come say hi again. Because okay. you know that time I came to your room, you did not say hi. Come say hi to everybody. Say Good hi. Good away. Mm, no, this say. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say hi. Hi. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Are you hungry? Mm? Yes. What do you want? Is not Bubu is done, he's not hungry anymore. Okay. Bubu, stop! Why did this time? <sighs> Look at me, I don't have energy for this type of thing. You know, you just took your bath. Look at what you've done, you have messed yourself up. Achi boy, yeah. take it for any time. Uno. All you achi people, take your time. Four, go say thank you, say thank you. Say thank you. I want to tell them a story. Again? Want to tell them a story? Uh, JC in a trash. You want to tell them a story? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to tell them a story. Okay. Tell them a story. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, <laughs> there is a big girl who... Mama, you know what? You know what? They, ca they cannot hear you because we're not wearing microphone. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you wear microphone, you tell them the story, okay? Okay. All right. Bye. Some men wear one boxer for seven days. <laughs> and they spent to carry that boxer even to shave his wahala.
I'm doing afternoon school runs and there's still a police car in front of this children's school. How many hours later? How many hours later there's still a police car in front of the school? I don't understand what's going on. Anyway, when the kids come into the car, let them explain to me what happened today. There's still another one over there. Wow. There's still a ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, but they were really, really taking precautions. So. Hmm. You are very lucky that you saw us. I thought you would not see us. No, that's why I went across Main Road. If you did not see us today, we would have done for you when you enter this car. <laughs> And I can make because every time you come, you act like you need glasses. Mechuso. Let's wait for Dindu. Let's see if Dindu will see us here. Dindu, he has not seen us. Oh my goodness. Do you know that he has not seen us? Dindu, we see you. <laughs> Look at his face as he wants to cry. Ole he mega yeniru. What happened to him? What happened? Eh? What happened? What happened? Is a lie. What happened? So when we were in class, my teacher was asking if we knew the eighth grader that um, posted it on Instagram. Oh wait, so it was a it was an eighth grader that posted it on Instagram. Mm. On the person's page. Yeah. Did the person come to school? I don't know. But the person put it on a fake account. Oh account. an eighth grader mm. um threatened as in wrote something. Mm. Yeah, it was and then things. put it on a fake account on Instagram mm. about your school. And that's why they call the, the cops. And a lot of people do not come to school today. A lot of people. Mm, there so were only 13 people in my class. Only 13 came in your class out of how many? Out of like 20 something. Imagine that. Imagine that. Do you know I almost came and picked you? I called your school. When I came home, I called them to ask them what was happening. And they said it was uh, a threat. It was not they've investigated. It's not a credible threat. And then that is not real. They called police just to be cautious. Those people that did not come, how did they know something happened? I'm thinking that, and I think that's what I'll do next time. Next time I take people to school, and I see police outside your school, we're going home. We're not entering school. I think that's what most people did. I feel like not everybody saw that post on Instagram. So maybe some maybe came some to people school. people did not want to come to school, so they just didn't come to school. How, was, is that, what kind of coincidence is that, that so many people felt like not coming to school? No, maybe some time. people came and they saw it, but some other people don't come to school because they don't want to come to school. Yeah, even if anybody didn't come because they, don't, they didn't want to come, I'm sure it's very few. Very, very few. But most people, I believe, did not come because they came to school and saw cops outside the school. And then add everything that is happening in this country, the shootings and everything. Parents are just being extra careful. They now made their... Come here! What are you wearing? Come here! <laughs> First, I thought the thing was real. You took it off! <laughs> you took it off! So you did not know you were wearing that type of thing on your legs? You didn't know? Did you know? Did you know? Yes. <laughs> anyway... It's just so bad. It's just too so bad. But but I don't know. In fact, were you scared? No. You were not scared. Why were you not scared? Because then she could have just jumped know. out the gate. I'm not asking you. Why were you not scared? I just wasn't scared. Why? <laughs> because you saw cops. No. Anyway. Good morning, guys. So, uh, it's the next morning and I just dropped off Nano at school. I decided not to take Dindu and Monachi to school today because I'm still very scared about what happened yesterday. I'm still worried because obviously the police will not go there today again and I don't know how... See, let me just wait, okay? It's not like they are writing exams or like they're having a major test or something so they can as well just stay at home today. 
So I'm going to call the school and tell them they can't come to school today because you're always required to call the school if your child is going to be absent. So I'm going to call the school and let them know they're not coming. Let them stay at home today. Yeah, only Nano has gone to school because her school is an elementary school. Must go elementary. <laughs> her school is an elementary school and there was no such thing as a threat. So she can go to school. Let the older ones stay at home. All right, let me end this vlog right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, stay blessed. We're going to see ourselves in the next video. Bye. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running around chasing you. But I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. Rather spend my precious time.